part three, finding the gap, filling the gap. What this is referring to is the gap in the literature or the gap in the studies or the missing piece that the previous research didn't address. The question left unanswered. That's what your hypothesis will fill. And we'll focus here on finding the gap. So a sample gap statement, um, you're, you might look for statements like this toward the end of the lit review. Here's a quote from a Murray article. Even if these past studies were methodologically perfect, however, they would still leave the basic conceptual issues we address completely unexamined. So you can see in that sentence, they're saying these authors didn't answer this question. Many investigators did not relate either actual or perceived similarity to any kind of relationship outcome. So they're telling us what's missing. Here, the authors signal to us that this is a gap because they use the words completely unaddressed. Other phrases that might help you identify or form for yourself a gap statement are um, has or have not been clarified, studied, reported, elucidated, so things that have been missing, is required or needed. The key question is, or the key question remains, it is important to address and you're looking for gap statements in your research and you're going to also be identifying a gap in what you're reading and when you do so, always use a professional tone. Don't use phrases like we looked into or we checked if. Always keep that objective language when you're writing it and tell us what the science was lacking without any focus on the first person. So here's another example. Other studies, however, have yielded negative or more mixed findings regarding the association between ethnic identity and substance use, and associations between ethnic identity and general social and relational functioning have been virtually unexplored in the published literature. So this phrase, have been virtually unexplored, leads us to the gap or other studies, however, have yielded negative or more mixed findings. This also tells us about the gap. What you'll do is you'll fill the gap by introducing your hypothesis. Your hypothesis will divulge your proposal for filling in the gap in the research that you identified earlier. Tell your audience how you attempt to address in your project this lack of knowledge or understanding. You'll often find that the first sentence of the last paragraph in a paper's introduction might kind of start to get at the gap using words like therefore. So therefore is a good transitional word. Therefore, the purpose of this study was to determine the effects of lead on the hepatobiliary system, especially on the liver and on the gallbladder. So that word therefore leads us to the gap. Here's an example statement. This is filling the gap. The present research redresses these methodological difficulties and more important, represents the first empirical examination of the short and long-term relationship consequences of egocentrically assimilating the partner to the self. So they told us how their research is gonna fill the gap. And then they're gonna tell us how they're gonna do it with this phrase, rather than. Other phrases that might help you to identify or form a gap statement are, we therefore analyzed. In this study, we investigated. Therefore, the goals of this study are, in this paper, we report. What phrase shows that they are filling the gap? Thus, the current study expands previous literature by using multiple theoretically grounded measures of ethnic identity to capture various aspects of cultural immersion, subjective success, ethnic pride or belonging, and exploration of ethnicity. Um, and so this is just another example. So to summarize, your purpose in the literature review is to identify a gap in the previous literature. So you have outlined all of these studies and linked them all together with a common thread. And at the end of that thread, you say, ah, oh, here's what's missing. You can end your literature review by identifying the gap 
the questions left unanswered by the previous research. So you're going to have this last paragraph identifying the gap, and then once you identify the gap, describe how your study will fill that gap. All that will precede the writing of the hypothesis, which is addressed in the next lecture. So all this will be in the last paragraph just before the hypothesis. Tune in for the next talk.